Kunotori 2, Kunotori 2 Hauji, White Stork. Also known as HTV2, was launched in January 2011 and was the second Japanese H2 transfer vehicle to resupply the International Space Station (ISS). It was launched by the HIIB Launch Vehicle Number no. Two (HIIBF2), manufactured by MHI and JAXA. After the supplies were unloaded. Kunotori 2 was loaded with waste material from ISS, including used experiment equipment and used clothes. Kunotori 2 was then unberthed and separated from the ISS and burned up upon re-entering the atmosphere on 30 March 2011. Topic. Specifications Kunotori 2 is 4 meters across and about 10 meters long. It consists primarily of three parts, a propulsion module, an avionics module, and a logistics carrier. The propulsion module is installed at the rear of the Kuno Tori and is composed of the main engines for orbit change, the reaction control system thrusters for positioning and attitude control, fuel and oxidizing reagent tanks, and high-pressure air tanks. The avionics module is installed in the center part of Kuno Tori, with electronic equipment for guidance control, power supply, and telecommunications data processing. The logistics carrier stores supplies. Topic. Cargo items Kunotori 2 carried 5.3 tons of cargo to ISS, consisting of 4 tons in the pressurized logistics carrier PLC, and 1.3 tons in the unpressurized logistics carrier ULC. Cargo in the PLC consists of spare system components, 51% of cargo weight, food, 24%, science experiment materials, 10%, crew commodities, 8%, and water, 7%. It included the Cobero gradient heating furnace rack and a multi-purpose small payload rack MSPR. The gradient heating furnace is a high-temperature electrical furnace that will be used to generate large-scale, high-quality crystals from melting materials. The MSPR is a multi-purpose rack that will be used for many different functions. The rack consists of three main components, a work volume, a work bench, and a small experiment area. One experiment that is already planned for the work volume, to be launched on a later flight, is the aquatic habitat, which will be used to breed small fish in order to study their responses to microgravity and cosmic radiation. Once Kunotori 2 was berthed to the ISS, both Kobero and the MSPR were transferred into the Japanese pressurized module. The installation and commissioning of these racks will initiate the second phase of the Japanese experiment module GEM utilization. Kunotori 2's unpressurized logistics carrier ULC carried an EP exposed pallet with two US Oris orbital replacement units attached an FHRC flex hose rotary coupler and CTC4 cargo transportation container 4 both the FHRC and CTC-4 were transferred from Kunotori 2's EP to the space station's ELC-4 using the ISS's manipulator, Dextra. Topic. 
Topic Operation Scheduling of Kunotori 2 operation was affected by the Space Shuttle mission STS 133. STS-133 was originally planned to be launched in September 2010, well before Kunotori-2. After several delays, eventually STS-133 was scheduled for February 2011. Since Kunotori-2 needed to depart the ISS after the Space Shuttle to carry away the wastes from the shuttle's cargo, Kunotori 2 schedule was changed to stay attached to the ISS for two months, close to its design limit, from the initial plan of 40 days. Also, the Dextra robot hand had to keep holding the external payload and wait for the arrival of STS-133, since STS-133 was carrying the logistics carrier 4 stowage platform to install the external payload. Topic. A launch and rendezvous with ISS Kunotori-2 was initially scheduled to launch on 20 January 2011, but this was postponed for two days due to a bad weather forecast. The HIIB rocket with Kunotori-2 onboard was successfully launched from Tanegashima Space Center on the 22nd of January 2011, 5 hours 37 minutes and 57 seconds coordinated universal time. It made its rendezvous with the space station for a subsequent docking to the Harmony Nodes Nadir port on the 27th of January. The space station's space station remote manipulator system, Canadarm 2, grabbed Kunotori 2 at 11:41 Greenwich Mean Time as the vehicles flew 220 miles over the southern Indian Ocean. Kunotori 2 was berthed to the space station using the Canadarm 2. The Canadarm 2 was controlled by Expedition 26 flight engineers Catherine Coleman and Paolo Nespoli using the robotic workstation RWS in the observatory module Cupola which provided them with increased situational awareness by enabling a 360-degree view of the exterior of the station. The berthing was completed at 1451 Greenwich Mean Time after bolts engaged inside the berthing port to firmly attach the spacecraft to the space station. Topic: <laughs> Operation while berthed to ISS. While Kunotori 2 was berthed to the ISS, the crew entered and removed the supplies from the HTV PLC, Space Shuttle Mission STS-133 arrived while Kunotori 2 was berthed to ISS. To avoid interference with the payload bay of the shuttle, Kunotori 2 was relocated from Harmony Nadir Port to Zenith Port. This was done on 18 February, before the launch of STS-133, after Space Shuttle Discovery departed the International Space Station and the STS-133 mission was completed. On 10 March 2011, the ISS crew robotically relocated Kunotori-2 back to the nadir port of the Harmony module. The moving operation began at 11:49 coordinated universal time. The spacecraft was attached to the common berthing mechanism CBM at Harmony's Earth facing Nadir port at 16:19 coordinated universal time. The CBM bolts were fastened at 17:20. 
The five-hour-long moving operation was completed when the space station crew completed the connections of the electrical cables, lines between the Kunotori's pressurized logistics module PLC, and the Harmony module at 18.55 Coordinated Universal Time during the stay of Kunotori 2 in the ISS. The M9.0 earthquake occurred on the 11th of March. The ground control center in Sakuba was damaged, and the monitoring operation had to be handed over temporarily to NASA. Mission Control Room resumed the operation on the 22nd of March. Topic: <laughs> Crew aboard the ISS. The ISS crew upon the arrival of Kunotori 2 were the members of Expedition 26. Scott J. Kelly, NASA, Commander Alexander Kaleri, RSA Oleg Skripochka, RSA Dmitry Kondratyev, RSA Catherine Coleman, NASA Paolo Nespoli, ESA Topic. Departure and re-entry After an extended two-month stay, on 28 March, Kunotori 2 was detached from the docking port by robotic hand at 15.29 Coordinated Universal Time and released at 15.46 Coordinated Universal Time. It re-entered the Earth's atmosphere at around 3:09 Coordinated Universal Time on the 30th of March. The re-entry was logged by a re-entry breakup recorder, one of two carried to the station, the other was installed in the Johannes Kepler ATV and was intended to record its return, but failed to make contact following re-entry. Consequently, no data was retrieved. Topic. See also H-2 transfer vehicle HTV-1 Automated transfer vehicle Progress spacecraft List of unmanned spaceflights to the ISS